and I can't prove this, but I feel like social media has completely warped how long we think books should be taking. Welcome back to The Crypt. There is a lot of talk going on right now, more so than usual, about author tubers wasting time or authors just in general on social media not releasing things fast enough. A lot of this talk is around things such as Kate Cavanaugh talking about going on, I don't know what, what edit is, fifth, sixth, seventh, I don't know. Um, I don't watch her videos as much as I used to, so I'm really behind, but I just saw a rapid in increase in number of people criticizing how long it's taking some people to make a book. To me, I don't see that as very unusual. Full disclosure, when I was a kid growing up, when I caught up to my favorite author, when I caught up to like the release dates, it was three years until the next book came out. I remember even movies taking that long. When the Star Wars movies were happening, it was multiple years before the next movie release. But over the last couple years, not only have movies been coming out every single year, like there's a new Star Wars movie, I feel like every couple months almost at this point. People are so used to rapid releases, an artist coming out with a new book every year, every couple months. And while it is possible to do that in a sustaining way by writing tons of stuff, saving it all, and then releasing them back to back, that's not what's usually going on with author tubers, right? A lot of author tubers currently are releasing books that they just finished the draft for a couple months ago. And we've talked about that a little bit, how people are pretty much just skipping the editing process at this point. But it's even hitting publishing world because as you know, if you go back to my last book review, The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn, that book was a mess right? Like there are entire plot threads, major plot threads that never get addressed. There seems to be this obsession with rapid release so much so that even the published world is cranking things out too quickly. And there's no way to quality control this stuff because it's being pushed too fast. But I thought to myself, you know what? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe all the authors I was following were kind of lazy. Maybe all the authors I happen to really like as a kid were lazy authors and three years was a really long time. Today, I'm going to do what my mom calls checking yourself before you wreck yourself. And we're going to make sure I'm not just making stuff up. See, I'm seeing lots of rapid release self-publishing stuff. So the average time to write a book. Now this is right, which I'm looking at probably means draft one. I'm not seeing editing anywhere in this lingo so far. 180 days or six months, more or less, which that seems reasonable. For your first draft, it can take you up to six months to create a solid first draft. Notice I said solid. We mean you're not skipping scenes, you're not skipping chapters, you've written all of it. Yep, a lot of places are saying it could take four to nine months to write a novel. See, this is all writing. Everything I'm seeing is writing, but nothing about that's including writing, editing, and publishing so we're gonna see editing how much time to we're gonna have to manually do math i hate math we've finally got an author talking about this finally god this was a lot of digging to find this this is by author of egador chronicles william d richards i do not know this guy but you know he's talking about colleagues in his workplace so i'm more willing to listen to him than a self-pub house putting blog stuff out. So a colleague of mine wrote her manuscript in three months. It took a year and 10 months of editing to ready for publishing. A year and 10 months of editing, just the editing. So a year and 10 months plus three months equals already we're over two years to get from manuscript to publishing. Ray Bradbury wrote Fahrenheit 451 in four weeks. It took him three weeks to write the original um, and six years of editing to flesh it out into the novel. See, I knew Fahrenheit 451 would come up. I knew it would because everyone talks about it as, well, he just wrote it on a typewriter and he just did it. 
he took six years of editing. Six years of editing. I'm feeling very validated right now. Editing is not just grammar and spell check, it's the editor's job to look at continuity, flow, and mistakes. Real checkpoint for the author. Um, should someone, someone mentioned this and I think this is a good one. How long should they take? Wrong question. They'll take as long as they need. Um, like I think he's the, this particular person is saying it in a kind of smarmy way, but it's, it's kind of true. Every book is incredibly different. How long my book takes to edit is not even remotely close to how long it's going to take Kaylee to edit her book. Her book is entirely different from mine. It's not even remotely close. We're writing different genres, we're writing with different points and purpose, and we're writing with a different cast of characters. I believe her cast of characters is far larger than mine. The reason I want to know this is I feel like, and I can't prove this, but I feel like social media has completely warped how long we think books should be taking. Let me just try um, Google Scholar. Arsenic. Okay, no, I'm... <laughs> I'm not looking up different poisons. Not today. A lot of stuff is coming up that's very, like, how to write and publish fast for profit. Like, I'm not seeing anything that actually shows sustainability or that this is an actual normal. So pretty much, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and conclude it right here and now. I realize that I'm not able in this video to provide you guys with like an actual article. I really want to be able to. I was hoping there was a scientific article that actually has researched how rapid release and the consumption of rapid media, such as TikTok, such as Instagram, how that has completely changed how we see the production of art. And there probably is something like that somewhere and I can't find the proper keywords to get to it. Um, but I don't have two billion years to research a topic that I'm pretty sure we all know the answer to. I mean, think about it. You take about a year to create the first draft and start editing it within the first year. So year one is creation and first round of edits. Year two is the professional edits, beta reading, stuff like that. And year three is pitching it to literary agents and negotiating with publishers. That, that's roughly how my brain looks at it. And that's assuming that you're writing full time. If you're not writing full time, I think it's going to take you a lot longer personally, because I mean, you're working a different job. Like for me, there's no way I could keep to a schedule like that because I'm full time employed as a teacher. Sometimes I work weekends. This is not supposed to be a like community chat video. I wanted this to be a let's learn because I wanted to show that if I'm not sure about something, I will try to research it and I'm prepared to be wrong. Like I get that there are some very famous authors who are full time and they crank out a book every year. I moved everything just to give you guys an example, but Margaret Atwood, look at this. Like we're not the same, you know what I mean? Rapid release something at that size and have it be good, solid quality each and every time and that that should be industry standard when it's just absolutely not possible. Some of the best books out there that have had long running history with people, things that have impacted the world, those books took years and years of editing alone, not even mentioning the drafting process. Drafting's easy. Editing takes a long time. So speaking of the editing process and how long it takes and how important it is, I have a workshop coming up. And by workshop, it doesn't mean that I'm telling you guys what to do. Workshop is we work together. I'm talking about things that have worked for me and sharing that, hoping they're helpful to you guys. And I would love to hear your stuff as well because I also need help because I don't know everything. We would absolutely adore to have you at my workshop that is happening on July 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll put some other information on the screen. We would absolutely love to see you. I will also be over on Haley Rice channel at around 1120 Eastern Standard Time to be doing the creative grind, which is talking about work-life balance and it's a struggle. Um, we're gonna be talking about that on a little panel and we'd love to see you guys there as well. But what do you guys think? Do you see a difference in how books and how quickly they release are treated now versus when you were younger? 
what kind of changes are you noticing? Do you not notice a change at all? Do you think it's just, you know, just perspective? What are your personal thoughts on it? What do you think is standard? What do you think should be standard? I'm just kind of curious. Um, thank you guys for watching and have a great week. Or don't. I'm not sure, mom. Which is good for you guys.